Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome me and welcome me Steve Rubenacre, the new head of school. Of thank you, John. Uh, thank you, one and all, for coming today. As I told the faculty at the beginning of the school year, I knew that my family found our new home when our two boys, Thomas and Daniel, where are you, Thomas and Daniel? came home after a day at our Rosarian summer camp reporting that their day, what their day was like at their school. To that I paused and understood the immediate connection that they had with the institution that we were only recently introduced to. As a nervous, recently relocated set of parents, my wife Kate and I realized that immersing them in this environment could not have meant more. We thank all of you for the warm welcome that our family has received. Speaking of feeling welcome, I would like to again acknowledge the Adrian Dominican presence here today. Thank you, ladies. You set an extraordinary example for us all. On a trip to Adrian, Michigan last year, Kate and I had the pleasure of touring the campus and the facilities. What we found was so much more than anything we could have ever hoped for. What we found was a group of extraordinarily talented women who exuberated devotion to their faith and to all of humanity. As we walked the halls of the Mother House, we began to understand the story of the Adrian Dominicans. A story that we would go back to the travels of St. Dominic, and one that would unfold through parts of Bavaria, up to the Williamsburg section of New York City, where a congregation eventually was formed and established in Adrian, Michigan. The story could be felt as you walked through the hallways, roamed the campus, and in discussion with the sisters. In discussing Rosarian Academy with them, they shared the numerous experience many of them had with the school since its inception. From the days as an all-girls boarding school, to destruction and the ultimate rebuilding the campus due to multiple storms over the years, and on to its modern day form as a co-ed independent school through eighth grade. It was actually quite ironic, as I spoke to the many sisters, they did cite that the one enormous mistake the school had ever made was removing the pool. So, so John, you got some work to do. It is clear that our institution has continued to transform itself through the years, much like the Adrian Dominicans themselves have understood and embraced change in order to adapt to the times in which they lived. The story is far from over. If anything, these 90 years have will serve as a prelude for what's to come. Throughout this time, our program has not only been defined by its mission, but by our outstanding faculty, staff, and administration. The adults within the community have always worked diligently to understand how best to serve the children in their care. These teachers have guided and supported their students working with programs geared towards improving their intellectual, emotional, and spiritual well-being. I would like to ask any past, current, past or current employees of our school to please stand and be recognized now. Your tireless work has resulted in our students feeling safe, willing to take risks and to engage in service to others. During their time here, our students have been Embrace for the people that they are. They are challenged, encouraged, and pushed to be the best person they can be. You do so with love and a direct understanding of how to foster the very best an individual has to offer and what God-given gifts they can give back to the world. On behalf of the grateful community, we thank each and every one of you. It is within this sense of gratitude to our institution that we should reflect today. Science tells us that those with a stronger sense of gratitude have higher levels of positive emotion, more joy, optimism, and happiness in their lives, and it acts with more generosity and connectivity to their surroundings. This simple act of being grateful enriches our children's lives more than words can express. It defines our culture and magnifies one's responsibility and respect to their fellow man. The competitive nature of 21st century education focuses heavily 
on one's, on the child's happiness and getting ahead of the rest, no matter what the moral or ethical consequences might be. Needless to say, we all aspire and work towards our child's happiness. However, happiness cannot come at the expense of our responsibility to one another, our character, or to our appreciation of our schools, churches, and workplaces that help to define this nation. These institutions bind and unite us and in large part forge our whole idea of what it means to perpetuate a sense of community and of communal growth. It is during this challenging time that our mission sets us and the work that lies before us apart. Let us all rejoice in our appreciation for this outstanding school and its children. Of equal importance is our steadfast devotion to our gospel values. Many of you here this afternoon are alumni. Alumni, will you please raise your hand and please be acknowledged. Above all, you understand the significance of how foundational these beliefs were to your experience at Rosarian Academy. Throughout our nine-year history, these values have set the stage for our students to not only do well in their secondary schools, but have established them as the rare individuals that actually change those campus, campuses and ultimately the world for the better. Our graduates have become well-established leaders, well-spoken and able to articulate effectively as they aid in setting the tone for the world that they will join. They have become respectful, empathetic, kind, generous, and understanding true to the Adrian Dominican spirit. They work to improve human conditions, being both socially and morally responsible, and working to set the world on fire. Looking forward to the next 90 years, we look forward to enhancing our program that fosters not only the basic skills that are necessary, but in an enhanced, individualized education. An experience that will equip our children for a challenging world. This includes a program that embraces those 21st century skills, as well as fostering an entrepreneurial spirit, collaborative nature, and a heightened sense of awareness around what it means to be part of a global community. To this end, our children will understand how to safely and ethically engage in a network world, and will remember that their learning is not only limited to the time that they are in school, but a lifelong endeavor that they should continually work to grow from. By enthusiastically embracing their faith, as well as their own learning, our graduates will continue to set the world afire for many years to come. Thank you. It's terrific to see all of you today. Steve, I have to remind you that I know a lot about air conditioning, not much about pools. So, <laughs> we're in trouble if you're putting me in charge of that.